For more on this story, we can go across France 24's Luc Schrego standing by in Le Havre, I believe. Luc, what's going on where you are? Well, we've seen uh, this strike underway for, for weeks now. Here at Total, the strike is in its 15th day uh, over at Exxon. It's now hit three weeks. Now, this has had a major effect on France's uh, capacity for refinery. 60% of the country's uh, capacity for refinery now halted, and that's led to a knock-on effect at around a third of France's petrol stations, which are now experiencing supply problems. Now, of course, this comes uh, against a backdrop of the cost-of-living crisis. Workers were demands they want their wages boosted uh, for uh, from around 6 to 10% uh, in line with inflation. And they want that retroactively applied across 2022. Now, here at Total, the, the, the management has said that it is willing to uh, bring annual salary negotiations forward for, from November to October, but that is only if the strike uh, is ended. Now, the government, for its part, has said that uh, it wants to give dialogue a chance, but uh, that it cannot afford for these uh, strikes to continue indefinitely. It's been saying that uh, it it could, if there is no progress made, it could force staff back to work. That sparked uh, a reaction from strikers. Uh, it's seen, uh, uh, with some anger, it's seen as an attack on their right to strike. And their question is, uh, how are they going to make us go back to work? Now, uh, if the government have said that the strike is uh, excessive and out of line, uh, there is a great deal of anger that does need to be addressed. The Ukraine war we've seen over the last, uh, over the last months uh, has sparked massive rises in the costs of oil and gas, and that's led to massive profits for uh, such companies and the workers they say they've uh, seen their own finances squeezed and they say uh, they want what is their due. Uh, now that the government is threatening this uh, to break up these protests through the use of force uh, we should add what are protesters they're telling you? Well, as I've said, uh, it is being seen as an attack to their right to strike. They've uh, been working uh, constantly throughout the, uh, the crisis. The cost of living crisis has seen uh, household finances, not just in France, but uh, around much of Europe, really uh, given the squeeze. And uh, people just can't afford to live anymore. It's, it's worse than it ever has been. Uh, they're refusing to go back to work until they get exactly what they want. Like I say, the 10% the uh, uh, rise to two salaries in line with inflation. Uh, they simply say that they've been working uh, for too long to see uh, oil and gas uh, companies net these massive profits that have been coming in in recent months as a result uh, of the war in Ukraine. Luke, thank you very much for that. Luke Schrager reporting there from Le Havre.